the unfortunate thing about us only being able to record on Thursdays is that we're late to the party on some of these things. We're pretty late to the party on this. Um, and uh, I watched the Super Bowl. Some of these I saw, some of these I didn't. This is one that I did not see. I just Googled the score, so I didn't see any of these yet. Yeah, I I I watched it because I wanted to spend time with my mom and my stepdad, and turns out both of them... Turns out the Super Bowl was so boring this year, they both fell asleep. <laughs> That's funny. And then all of a sudden, someone, someone scores a touchdown, and my stepdad just like, oh, oh, damn it, the Patriots scored. Yeah. All right. And then before they knew it, it was over. That didn't happen until like the fucking third, fourth quarter anyway. Yeah, it was pretty late in the game. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, uh, the first one we're going to be watching is Avengers Endgame Super Bowl trailer TV spot. So, yeah, Endgame is going to be freaking crazy. And if this trailer and the trailer we got previously is all we get... I'd be okay with that because the less they give away, the more mystery it will contain. And also I think the better the film will be. Yeah. Well, that means everybody's going to ask us to watch if they do more trailers for it, but I almost kind of don't want (laughs) to, I almost don't want to either, but I feel like because of, uh, because of, uh, uh, what's that word? Dennis always use. Implications? Yes, because of the implication. Yeah. We'll pretty much be, we'll pretty much have to. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So hopefully they don't make any more after this. (laughs) Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed. There will probably be one before Captain Marvel. Go into it with what we know right now. There there will probably be one before Captain Marvel plays, so I'll have to look forward to that. I'm sure Captain Marvel's end credit scene will also have something to do with it as well, so... Probably Some sort of set up, so that'll be a little thing, but that'll be important to see before probably. Mm-hmm. So if I had to guess, anyways, I had yeah, if I had to guess too. So Avengers in Game Super Bowl trailer spot. Let's uh, let's give this a watch. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that was all the ones who died. Some people move on. Not us. Simple, brutal, and to the point. I can dig it. So the big thing with me, whenever it comes to, uh, whenever it comes to this, is not giving away too much, and they don't. They don't. They're very careful with what they with what they show us. They didn't Pe- really give any new information. It was just kind of a, a little hype scene. Yeah. Well, it does get me hyped because because I see everyone suiting up and getting ready to go fight and to go kick Thanos' ass and undo what he's done. I mean, I I'd welcome that. Yeah. Because that's that to me is a signific is a signification that everyone's now on the same page. You don't, because this is one thing we didn't get in Infinity War that was teased, but I think we will get in this one. The full reunification of the old school Avengers by Tony and Steve finally coming back together, you know, joining hands and forgiving each other. That's what I think is going to happen in this one. I don't know. Possibly, like, because they did also kind of make it out like. Tony might not even be with the rest of them for a good portion of the movie, but, well, it remains to be seen. Actually, there's talk that um, someone... I, I, I think... It, I forget who it was who sent me the, the link, but um, they said that Marvel is actually considering doing an intermission on Endgame because they're saying it could potentially be three hours. Hmm. I don't mind sitting through a three-hour film as long as the, as long as the pace is good... I don't mind. It's just like Infinity War. In, for Infinity War, two and a half hours flew by. An intermission would be appreciated because, like, by the end of uh, the longest movie I think I've seen in theaters is probably uh, Return of the King. 
by the end of that movie, I was like, just please end. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> like, you know? hey, uh, no, it's no. Like, God damn no, it. dude, be a warrior. Piss in, your, piss in your cup after you drink all of it. <laughs> Don't ever buy drinks at movies because I know I'll have to go to the bathroom if I'm drinking something while I watch it. Eh. <laughs> I never had that. I've never had that problem. I, that's because I, I guess it's because I'm part camel. Uh, because I I could sit through. I could pretty much sit all day and never have to go. And then right when I stand up at the end of ed, after I'm finished editing upstairs, all of a sudden it's just like, oh oh, there we go. My problem is I have some weird mental thing where I can usually like if there's nothing like pressing, like if I have the opportunity to go whiz right now, I could hold it for like three hours. But as soon as it like the opportunity is taken away for me to go with like safely, I guess is the best way to describe it. Mm-hmm. Um, all of a sudden, like have to pee really, really, really bad. Like anytime I ever played hide and seek as a kid, the first time that I went to hide, I was like, oh no, I have to pee real bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but like anytime, like I go to a movie and I've drank like a bunch of drink beforehand, I'm just like, ah, oh, fucked up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I fucked up, man. Yeah. I fucked up real bad. So I, the, the one time I think recently I actually was like, screw it, was when I was watching The Witch in theaters. Which actually, I have an update on that. Me and Andrew rewatched The Witch the other day for the fuck of it. Turn subtitles on because they are a little hard to understand with their thick ass old school accents in that movie. Mm-hmm. And we actually kind of enjoyed it the second watch through. So we kind of mm-hmm. see where people are coming from on it now. But okay, that was just a weird side note. Well, yeah, there's several horror films that have been released nowadays that a lot of people have said aren't uh, like the the critics liked it, but the people didn't. Yeah, that well, was one of them. Like the critics were pretty okay on, but also the audience score was like well above fifty percent. So it was kind of like hit or miss, it seemed like. It's like some people really liked it, some people were just like, eh. And well, I was like, but, eh, at first, but once I rewatched it, I was like, okay. Well, then there's was also good, also movies like Hereditary, which has like a 90 on Rotten Tomatoes, but yet has an audience score of like, I think, 46. Yeah. There's because just a, a because disconnect of, with critics and audience for some reason. Yeah. In which, yeah, I can understand it. But overall, man, I'm I'm excited to see this. I'm excited to see where everything goes. I may rewatch Infinity War just for the hell of it, because I would kind of like to rewatch it before I go see this. Yeah, just well, to make sure. I'll probably rewatch that it before I remember I, everything that happened and stuff. Yeah, well, I mostly want to rewatch it because I want to have that moment again where I'm just like, oh god, all these characters yeah. that I've grown to love and care about, and they're all going to die. <laughs> what sucks is like my favorite ones, like oh. of recent, you know, or the ones that were like poof and i was like damn it you took all the best ones away it's like iron man's the only one i really like left actually something happened yesterday when i was streaming kingdom hearts 3 someone said what if thanos were to show up in the kingdom hearts universe i would just be like oh Oh, i know i know snap and then all of a sudden like in the distance in the distance behind you what's going on no, 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 oh, no. It feels so good. <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know what? It just it actually. Uh, mine was uh, I, someone in the comment section, and the comment section said that I, as I was laughing about it, about what would happen. Uh, all of a sudden, someone goes, "Garsh King Mickey, I don't feel so good." <laughs> I was thinking it would be funny because it's like the, the whole Disney universe and Square universe at the same time. <laughs> mine would mine would probably be the uh, the uh, Sephiroth's just yeah. like <laughs> Sephiroth's just like well, that's inconvenient. <laughs> no, he'll just he'll just he'll just be like he'll just be like finally, <laughs> pretty much. And then and then all of a sudden uh, you'd have a. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you'd have Oren just be like, oh, God, not again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd also have, uh, I wonder if Hades would fade away. He'd just be like, huh. like what? What? What's happening? No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'll just be like, he'll just be like, he'll be like, oh, oh, so that's what that feels like. Oh, rats. <laughs> and then Pain and Panic are just like, is, is he gone? Is he gone? I, I, I think he is. I think he's really gone. Oh, my gosh, he's really gone. Huh? Pain? Panic? I don't feel so good. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> <laughs> oh, God, that'd be terrible. And, and you know what? 
I could. I I would like to see that. As as crazy as that would be, I would like to see that. That'd be really weird. What? Dude, Square Enix and well, Disney characters. The most heart wrenching part would probably be if like Sora and Riku and Kairi were all together, and like Riku and Kairi just poof. Uh, either Sora that or like, either that or just Riku. Actually, what a twist it would be is if Sora fades away, and you have to play part of the you have Sora play, and Riku fade away, and you and have to play Kairi as becomes the main character. For yeah, a you have, yeah, she becomes the main character for a little while. Oh, that'd be so good. I was actually kind of really be hoping. So freaking good. I was actually kind of really hoping because she ended up finally having a keyblade. It looked like she does. So I was she's, hoping you would get to play now. as her for at least a little bit in Kingdom Hearts three at some point. And so far, I haven't seen that, but I'm also no, trying I, not to like, spoil yeah, it I'm for not, myself. I'm not. So, I don't. I, yeah. I'm still in the midst of the game. I don't want spoilers. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, someone the other day was just like was just like was constantly spamming on different accounts, like trying to spoil the game for me. I wasn't even looking at it. Yeah. Like all of a sudden. I that's saw why some... I don't plan to try to play it on stream. Like I'll play Dream Drop on stream, but like I told you know the mods, I was like I'm not gonna be looking at chat a lot while I finish this. Well, like, that's one. So that, that's one are. reason why I wasn't paying attention to chat as much. And usually, if I read chat, like whenever, like, um, you know, I'm playing something like that, I look at the name first, so I know who's safe to read, right? And yeah. it's a new name, and I I can glance and kind of see if it's like a, hey, what's up, or if it's something else. And if it's like a big, long post like that looks like it's explaining a lot, like, no offense, but I'll probably skip it when I'm playing something I really don't want to spoil. Yeah. So. Same thing. Yeah, same thing with me. Because I just don't want to risk it. All right. So we got to speed through the rest of these. Yeah. So anyway, these. this this is one I really wanted to talk about because... I I'm I I still want to see this. Man, this everybody's is, super stoked on this, dude. I'm I'm high as hell off this. Still, I only I'm, know one person that's not stoked on this, and it's because he hasn't seen any of the stuff before it, and he would be stoked on it if he had. So, who? Chance. Oh, eh, he's like, I just lost. never have given the Marvel stuff a chance. Mm. And I'm like, dude, like you. Same would, thing with my dad. You'd fucking love Infinity War, dude. Same same thing with my dad. I told my dad, I'm like, Dad, just give it a chance, and he was just like, I don't know, son. That first Captain America movie, I just, I had a tough time with. I'm like, a lot of people did. One of the pop. things Chance said to me is, like, those all kind of seem like they're the same thing over and over again. And I'm like, that's the thing, though, dude, is Infinity War would change your mind. Because mm-hmm. he loves dark shit, you know? So. Oh, it gets dark. Yeah, it gets it, real dark. It gets really dark. <laughs> but, so, all right. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was the Avengers Endgame Super Bowl TV spot. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed what you've seen here. If you want to see more, feel free to uh, click the link down below. Leave a like, hit a subs- hit or subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.